chemistry and how, how do you think it's coming along with the defensive side, the offensive side? Uh, I think every day in uh, training camp, um, we're, we're building that chemistry more and more. Um, these first two losses have, have been good because uh, we're really pushing each other um, in practice. You know? I see you with 16 rebounds in this game. But how much do you need everyone else to start chipping in a little bit on the glass? Um, you know, it's a, it's a team effort at the end of the day. Like, if, if they're boxing out their guys, it makes it easier for me. And uh, vice versa, if I do my job, they can grab the long ones, you know. And um, we're playing a team on Sunday, uh, the Warriors, uh, where all their th are, most of their rebounds are out, you know. So that's going to be a good test to see if, um, if we're really locked in on um, uh, boxing out at everyone's own man. How's the physicality been? Uh, t big, tough. Um, we just got to do it against our opponents. You know, uh, Fox mentioned it today. Like uh, we're going hard, we're hitting each other, but uh, we got to do it on um, on the other teams. How did making it to the playoffs give you more confidence for this season? Um, you know, just we know, like we know we're a playoff team. We know how good we are. Um, we felt like we could have gone further last year, and um, we know that coming in. You know, and uh, now we just got to put the work uh, to get there, which is going to be a lot harder than last year. You get so many looks at the Warriors early on. Yeah. I don't know who makes those schedules because yeah. all of our preseason games we play against everybody the first five ten games. So um, I mean, it's nice always to like come come out first game and kind of shock an opponent, uh, you know, on a couple plays and stuff. But at the same time, they're getting that too. So I mean, it, it bounces up. Domas, given that you guys have so many guys coming back, is it concerning at all that? Like there's not a little better rhythm right now at this point. Uh, no, I actually think I think it's better because uh, I mean every day in practice guys are getting on each other. You know, uh, coach is having to separate some of us. You know, and um, that's good. Uh, we have that confidence to really get on each other. You know, and I feel like that's where teams get better. Mike's mentioned that he's changed some things up offensively, trying to do things. So what, what's been different the first couple of games? Uh, for sure, he's. I mean, we're not running plays, and he took out one of our main things that work, you know, so obviously there's a lot of guys maybe that aren't, aren't as happy, but this is this is why it's it's training camp. We got to figure out, try new things out, you know, um, it's going to be a long season. We're we're expecting ourselves to go far, so we need to have other options. So, you know, um, I love what he's doing, you know, uh, we just got to buy into it and uh, keep trying things out, you know. Um, they're the coaches, they know what's best, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, they'll they'll switch it back, but, you know, it's it's good to be out there and, and, and try new things out. Tomas, you're, you're obviously close to Chris Forte, obviously you had a much better outing in that preseason game. How have you seen like him? You worked out with him in the offseason. Yeah. He was talking about that was the first kind of action he's had in 200 days. Yeah. So, uh, how, how do you see that progress from him? Uh, he's good, you know. He's learning. He's he's paying attention. You know, the whole language thing you know, he kind of struggles with, but uh, the coaches are doing a great job of trying to explain it to him. And you know, he's slowly doing his job. You know, he's not. I told him, don't think about offense. Just think about defense and let the game come to you. You know, and I feel like he's been doing a great job. Is he looking more like uh, the guy you remember from Indiana? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, um, hopefully he gets to play a couple of games. You know, have a couple of good games, and he can show his personality. What were you referring to that Mike took out? Are you talking about DHO stuff? No, just you know some of our uh, offensive flow that that we get in that you know we do a lot. You know, um, it's one of our two options in offense. Um, he didn't take out; he just switched it kind of. You know, and um, we're just getting used to it. You know, it's it's a new offense. It th it definitely works. We got a, a bunch of great looks out of it. Um, out of the first two games, you know, uh, we just need everyone to believe in it and you know keep keep trying to build from there. You love access. Like Sasha, he's always in the right spot. When you get in the corner. Uh, yeah, he's a very, very smart player. You know, he knows exactly where to position himself. He's there early, so he doesn't have to exceed any extra strength. You know, so um, he 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 knows exactly how to play this game. Oh yeah, you know he adapts. You know, it's very easy playing with him. They throw him in the first in the first unit, second unit doesn't matter. You know, um, he's there at the, uh, at the right spot all the time. How much confident you have enough like rebounding help on this team? You do so much obviously on the board. Um, yeah, how much do you want to see? You know, it's a it's it's a team thing. You know, at the same time, we got to get stops to get these rebounds. You know, um, if the ball goes in, you can't get rebounds. So, I'm happy that there's rebounding uh, possessions to get because that means we're getting stops. You know, we just got to finish off the possession. Last one. How much are you enjoying the cutting that you guys have sort of added in? Mm -hmm. It really does play to your strengths as passers. Uh, it's great. You know. Um, as we see nowadays in the NBA, everyone's adding that. You know, it's a really hard to guard uh, that off-ball action. Guys are, you know, it's such a dominant, um, talented league where you got to help, help your defense because the offense is so good. You know, but now if you have this off-ball cutting, you know, it's hard because you're so focused on that one player. So you're kind of forced to do multiple, multiple things. So um, it's definitely been working. A lot of teams are doing it now. So to me, I love it. You know, it helps my game. I get to. 
do what I love to do and facilitate. Thank Can I just you guys. ask Thanks. one question in Spanish? Uh, real quick, real quick. Okay. Just gotta make it quick. Quiero decir una acerca de llegar a los finales de esta temporada. Uh, tenemos que empezar con todas las cosas pequeñas uh, y empezamos cuando empezó la, la pretemporada y tenemos que seguir haciendo eso durante toda la temporada. Muchas gracias. gracias. Thanks, Thanks Tomas. Appreciate it, buddy. All right. I think uh, we're doing great. You know, we're making strides where we need to defensively. I think more so, especially the last couple of days in practice, we've been very aggressive and getting after it with one another, so that's going to help us. Um, and we talked about it at the end of practice today, having carry over into our next game. You saw in like a major body transformation from you last season. This season you come in, you look like you even worked out more. Is it cool to sort of change a little bit of who you have been as a player? Yeah, it gives me something uh, to work on each summer, uh, bring a different aspect into each season and, you know, see how I fare with, with feeling differently and um, honestly feel better and, and, and you know, strength-wise feel just as good, if not better, than last year, but lighter on my feet and stuff like that. Looks like you're in this shooting routine with De'Aaron every single practice. Any reason you decided to participate in that? Uh, yeah, because he tried to take over my court. I think, nah, I'm just saying, <laughs> nah, we're just shooting together right now. It's just, it just seemed to work out that way, and, you know, uh, I don't mind it, so it's fun. How do you get part of the book club? Harrison said he's not got the invitation yet. I'm interested. I, we're okay, we're, so we're, we're still working on it. You know, uh, we haven't figured out all the all the uh, the details of it yet. But um, hopefully by the time first game comes around, we'll have everything figured out, and I'll be able to roll it out then. Going back to shooting, I think you guys have a combined 95 threes, which is what up in these first three season games. How do you feel about the high volume in addition to, like, do you still feel like the vast majority of them are really good looks? Yeah, um, I think we have a lot of great shooters on our team, even in this, uh, the second unit as, as a whole. I think uh, four or five guys that can shoot the three. Uh, and, of course, the starting unit, we have a lot of guys that can shoot the three. So that's something that, you know, Coach puts an emphasis on. He wants us to get a lot of threes up, and especially if we're open, we have good enough shooters that we need, and we trust them to shoot the ball. So I think it's going to be something that's going to be, you know, continue on during the season. Has he given you a target number or, like, a target range of amount of threes he wants in a game specifically? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure once, you know, season gets closer, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that as a team, and he'll let us know what we're looking for out there. What's your message for the fans this season? They've been so supportive of you. They continue. Uh, they can expect the team that's going to come out and play hard. Uh, we're going to we're going to bring it from the jump. Um, we we still have that feeling of that playoff that run last year, and I'm sure they they have it as well. So we're trying to bring that back to this back to the city and make a consistent feeling for everybody. You get to the Warriors so early, um, even the preseason. Yeah. Obviously, it's probably premeditated that way. But how curious are you to see some of those tests along the way as we kind of begin this new journey? Uh, it's it's a good test, you know, to start the season off with 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 good teams like the Lakers, like the Warriors, Utah as well, um, and seeing them, you know, I think we see them three times in, in like a course of a week and a half. So it's really gonna see if we're ready for that uh, almost like playoff type, you know, run again. Um, just seeing them so often, but it's gonna be a good challenge for us to see a, a older, more experienced team early on in the season and, and really get after them. Trey uh, Domas was talking about how the offense has changed a little bit from last year. What, what's the biggest difference in your mind, and how much of an adjustment has that been for you guys? Uh, I think it, for me personally, it's it's a little easy to, to, to adjust to. Um, don't really have to do too much more. I think once we get more practice in with it, guys will be able to develop and, and, and conform to it and know what we got to do, know where we have to be. But it's a lot of the same principles as our old offense, so I think we'll be all right. Uh, what's been are you, the difference between coming in the training camp last year compared to this one? Uh, I think guys were more prepared. Um, Mike being his first year last year, we, we honestly didn't know. I think some guys were a little caught off guard by how intense and how physical and stuff it was. But this year, I think guys were ready for it. Um, guys knew what we were coming into. So I think as a whole, uh, we did a lot better as far as transitioning into this camp. How are you adjusting and playing with Gabriel? Uh, it's different, you know. I'm not used to having a, a seven, whatever he is, guy behind me. So it helps out a lot defensively, I think, for for the unit as a whole. And then offensively, like everybody, we're just still conforming to our new offense. So, um, you know, it's nice to have a, a veteran leader like that, a guy that's been on these championship teams and knows what it takes and stuff like that. So I think it's good for everybody. Oh, no, yeah, I'm good. I just had a little got hit on the screen, so I'm all right. What were we talking with Mike about at the end of practice? Like uh, just, we were just going over defensive schemes and what he wants us to do and just making sure that we're all on the same page. And especially for the second unit, I think that we need to be on a, a very uh, together, you know, and on the same page because that's a, a big key for our team is our second unit. So we have to make sure that we're, we're 
our fists together out there on the court because we don't have a lot of leadway. So we have to make sure that we're doing the right things. With so many guys back from last year, is it a, a surprise or a concern at all that maybe you haven't had a better rhythm the first couple of games of the preseason? No, not at all. Because we added, you know, two new guys to, to the key rotation, you know, and, and and we added a new offense, like you said. So it's going to take a little bit for us to to get, you know, really comfortable with that. But I, I don't see it uh, affecting us in the long run. What have you thought of your minutes next to Sasha and when you guys are out there as a 3-4? I think it's great. You know, uh, Sasha can shoot the ball. I can shoot the ball. So I think it would be really tough for defenses to be able to guard uh, those shooters and, and say if you have Malik and Fox and, and Domas or JaVale or, or Davion, it's like you got, you know, 3-4 shooters on the court. So it makes it tough on the defense for guys like Fox to be able to get downhill, Davion to get downhill when you got the court spread with shooters like that. What, what about defensively? Uh, defensively, you know, uh, it's going to be an adjustment for him, but he's done he's done well so far. Um, Coach has got on him a couple of times, but that's all right. He's responded and he's done better in practice and stuff these last couple of days. So I think he'd be fine. Thanks, guys. Appreciate hey, thanks, thanks, Trace. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Got Trace wet all over the wall there. I don't know. We're seeing some changes out here with just like who's wearing what jerseys and stuff. Is that just part of the the process of training camp of trying different groups together, or? Are you planning on some changes or what do you got there? Yeah, I, you know, I said uh, last game, I threw Sa Sasha in the starting lineup, take a look at him. Uh, so Dorte will start tomorrow in Kevin's spot. Uh, it's it's normal for me, at least, uh, trying to experiment and take a different look at different guys with different lineups. How's Keegan? Uh, Ke Keegan's been good. You know, what I like about Keegan is uh, defensively, you could tell he's worked on his strength. He's got a better feel for what he what he needs to do on that end of the floor. And, you know, he didn't, he doesn't get knocked off his spots like he did last year uh, as easily. So I, I like that improvement offensively. You know, he's starting to show that he can do a little bit more than just catch and shoot, which we encourage him to do. I'm at the hand, though, but you're good. Oh. Thank you for that, but oh. I appreciate it. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's fine. Okay. I mean, he, he got it. It's like, uh, I mean, you get your finger jammed or whatever, and if it gets hit again, it's going to bother you. And so he, he, I think he, I wasn't, I think he might have had tape today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You become real familiar with the Warriors early on in this game, in this season. Yeah. Um, preseason as well. Is there much you can take from this preseason before you go into those regular season matchups? And what's the curiosity there? You know, it, right, right now, like, the Warriors are in a different place than us, and same with some of the other teams. Like, we're really worried about ourselves, and you know we, we, we've we only put in so much offensively. Uh, we're really trying to concentrate on the defense end of the floor because we know that was our Achilles heel last year. And so, I mean, it's great to play those guys just because they play so different and they give you different looks offensively. But I mean, we're we're going to try to continue to do what we do to get better and not. Think a ton about them, and I know we're going to play them four or five times this month. But it, 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 whether we're playing the Warriors or the Clippers or the Nets, our process would still be the same. Mike, speaking to that defensive focus, is there any risk at all to that taking away at all from the offensive rhythm or success with that side of the ball? Are those two pretty separated in that sense? No, I, I think there's risk in everything. I mean, we had the number one offense in the history of the game last year, and. <laughs> Uh, you know, obviously we have talented offensive guys. Uh, that's it is what it is, and you know that's a lot of their strengths. But in the same breath, you know, in my opinion, and I've been a part of uh, six NBA Finals or something like that with three different teams. And in my opinion, you got to be able to defend. And so, in order to have an, uh, in my opinion, again, a shot at winning it, which is what we're playing for. Sometimes you got to mix some things up. Sometimes you got to roll the dice on things and take a chance here. Maybe you might lose a little here, but hopefully you gain a lot here and, and, or there. And, and, and so change uh, can impact you in a lot of different ways. And hopefully it's good when you make the change. But I'm, I'm not one to just sit back and say, hey, our offense was great. Let's just keep playing that way. And, and don't worry too much about the defense because we're going to outscore somebody. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be hard to duplicate what we did offensively. You, you know, it's like going from a, a good team to a great team. When you only had this far to go and you're in the upper echelon, it's hard. Offensively, I mean, we were here. 
and to even go here or to keep it there, ooh, it's going to be harder, you know. But defensively, we were here, so we got a lot of room to grow. So let's try to do what we can to take advantage of it, growing at it, while maybe losing a little offensively. And if we do, I still think we'll be a really, really good team. You mentioned putting Chris in there for Kevin. I'm curious, yeah. what, you, you had kind of the same lineup the whole year last year. Yeah. Um, what do you need to see out of Kevin? Like, what, what do you want to see out of him this year, maybe for him to stay in that starting lineup? Well, not just Kevin, but but, but everybody. You know, the, one of the things that we really are emphasizing is our physicality. And, you know, I explained to you guys a couple of times, hey, when you come across and help out with our help defense, you got to take a hit in the chest, which means you got to go vertical or you got to take a charge. Um, on the ball and pick and roll situations, you got to get up into that ball and you got to get over the screen at the same time because what we are doing as a group, and not just Kevin, there's a few of our guys that are doing this, we're staying here, we hear the command, so we're sending the ball to the, to the screen, which is where the help is, but then as the screen's coming, we're not getting into the ball to skinny up and get over the top. We're chasing the ball. And now that ball's turning downhill, and now you got Domus there, and you have our other defenders trying to play five on four against a team that's most teams are really long or really athletic, and it makes it tough. So I have to put more pressure on our guards to help us better in the pick and roll so we don't face that pressure getting downhill and now teams are getting spray threes and lives at the rim and, and us ending up being 30th in the NBA in pick and roll defense. I imagine you had a conversation with Kevin about that. How did he, how did he take that, that he's going to come off the bench for just the next game? Ah, he was fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I didn't have just, again, I didn't have a conversation just with Kevin. It's, it's the whole team that needs to do that because there are other guys, in my opinion, that need to get better with the physicality of the game of basketball, especially on the defensive end, for us to take steps. What do you like about uh, the idea of Duarte at the two, and is that something you would consider doing in the regular season as well? I, I'll consider anything, <laughs> you know, anything that I think will help us. And I said this before, sometimes when you take risk or you do things differently, it can backfire and mud can be on your face. And I'll be the first one to say that it was my decision because every decision I make will be to, in my, my opinion, will be to help this team be better. Um, and, and so with, with Dorte, what he did in the last game, he did exactly the things that I was, I'm asking. If you go back and you watch the tape, anytime he was involved in a pick and roll on the ball, he got up, he skinned over, and he went over the top with, it, with the ball handler. Uh, he was involved in a DHO with a, what we call a hot guy, a guy that can shoot it. He got into his body, and he rode him over the DHO, and he had his deflector hand there and almost got a steal. Uh, transition, defense, uh, I think it was Christian Wood, tried to post him up, boom, he hit him, stood him up, and then he got in front and got a steal because they tried to throw it in late. Um, you know, his ability to chase, you know, he, a guy doesn't have the ball, pin down comes, gets into his body and gets over the top with that guy. And now, you know, you don't get anything because he's coming over the top with you. And so those aspects defensively, when it comes to being physical defensively, uh, he did very, very well. He did it at a high level. And that's what we're going to expect from all of our guys throughout the course of the year. How much having his relationship with Domas kind of plays into this, get him acclimated, get him rolling early in the season, let him have some time with Domas? Well, you know, it's funny, cause, and that's kind of the reason why I started uh, Sasha in the last game, because Sasha plays really well off the ball. Pass, and it passes and cuts and moves and all that other stuff. And, and um, uh, um, you know, so to be able to throw him out there with Domus to see what it looks like, to be able to throw Dorte out there with Domus to see what it looks like because they're two new guys and they haven't really had a chance to do that is something that, that I'm going to look at as well. Have your offensive and defensive staples changed at all coming into this year? No. It, no. The one that we're emphasizing more defensively is being physical without fouling. And I'm okay. You know, if we foul too much, I'm going to be upset, but I'd rather us foul too much trying to be physical and then tell the guys, try work on the guys scaling back than to not be physical and not have anybody feel us with, with, with the fouling situation. So. What's, what? Uh, you know, I, I think everybody with how hard they've played, you, you know, um, and how 
much they're trying to pick up what we're what we're trying to do. You, you know, um, Dorte has played well. Sasha has played well. You know, those are two of the new guys. Um, you know, Domas has played well. Foxy's played well, and and so, you know, it's not not where. Not to a point to where I'm like, oh my gosh, these guys are better. Like, no, no, I expect Domas, I expect Foxy to get better every year because I think Foxy's on the right track to, to reaching his ceiling. And the great part about it, he's got a lot of room. So it's not, not necessarily this guy has surprised me and that guy surprised me because these guys have been working all, all summer. And I've been watching them throughout the course of the summer. And, and, and what I'm seeing now is some of their work paying off. Mike, you said early in camp that you were you were changing some things offensively a little bit, um, somewhat in, in response to what happened in the Warriors series. Domas yeah. kind of mentioned it earlier. What what is changing, and, and how are they adjusting to, to those changes? Uh, they're they're adjusting good. Now the tough part about it is we as a staff have put them in a box, and we're trying to make them uh, read what we want to do offensively quicker and better and with more space. And um, it's a little new to them. The, the thing that we changed, it, it's, it's a, out of our early flow. And basically, we averaged running that four times a game last year. So it's not, it's not a huge change, you know. Uh, and it's the, the, the initial look is similar. It's just more free-flowing with more space. And the ability to cut harder and or somebody bumps you or takes it away to be able to counter it with a cut another direction because of the spacing in it. And uh, uh, so uh, that that's probably the biggest thing that, that has changed. But it, it's a cha it's a huge change to the guys because right now that's all we're basically let the play out of, you know. So they're running. They have to run it half the time because the other thing that we do during games, we did it all of last year, and, and it's the same exact thing. So that's what's a, what's a little new. We we did did this thing four times a game, 3.8 I think to be exact. Now we're asking them to do it 30 times a game, you know, and, and so it is something a little new that they got to get used to, but they're getting better at it as we go along. What's that called? Okay, uh, called, uh, Steve, <laughs> it's called either four or five. He, are you paying this dude? <laughs> this dude right here? It's four or five. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's our five. Our five has changed a little bit from last year. Okay. Thank you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking. Secret sauce, man. Secret sauce. <laughs>